Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the seventh problem, which came in BSTAT BMAT 2019. So here is the problem, which says that you have a polynomial f with integer coefficients, and you define a sequence a n such that a one is the constant term of the polynomial, that is f of zero, and a two is f of a one, that is nothing but f of f of zero. And a n is recursively defined as f of a n minus one for n greater than or equals to three. Okay, now they are saying that if there exists a natural number k greater than or equals to three such that the kth term of the sequence is zero, then we have to prove that either a one or a two will be zero. So let's see how we can do this. So if you notice that if we let a naught to be equal to zero, then we can define a n as f of a n minus one, where n is greater than or equals to one. Now, notice one thing that f is a polynomial with integer coefficients. So, we know that x minus y divides f of x minus f of y. So, we are going to need this. Now, let's write our polynomial f of x as b0 plus b1x plus dot dot b d x to the power d where d is the degree of the polynomial f of x now we assume that a n plus 1 is which is equals to f of a n is equals to 0 and that is nothing but our a naught we are assuming this because we have been told that there exists a natural number k greater than or equals to 3 such that the kth term of the sequence is 0. So we are letting a, our a n plus 1 to be 0, okay, where n is greater than or equals to 2. So then what happens is b0 plus b1 a n plus dot dot, dot b d a n over to the power d is nothing but zero okay we just found out what f of a n is and now this implies that a n divides b naught because you see that every term here involves a n so if we take it on the other side then b naught will be on this side so a n must divide b naught and b naught is nothing but it's f of zero the constant term of the polynomial and what is f of zero it's a one as you can see from the definition of the sequence so here we get that a n divides a one Now, we can say that a k minus a k minus 1, this thing divides f of a k minus f of a k minus 1. And this is nothing but, according to the definition, this is equals to a k plus 1 minus a k. And so we get that, so put k equals to 1, so you get that a1 minus a0 is equals to mod of a1 and which is lesser than equals to a2 minus a1 because this thing divides this thing. 
Now, so similarly, if we proceed further, we get that this is A3 minus A2. And this is lesser than dot dot lesser than A n minus A n minus 1. And which is lesser than equals to A n plus 1 minus A n. And this is nothing but mod of A n. Remember, we took our a n plus 1 to be 0. And also, this is nothing but, remember that a n divides a 1. So, this is lesser than equals to mod of a 1. Since a n divides a 1. Okay. So, now you see that we started with a 1 and we landed at a 1. So this implies that your mod of A1 is equals to mod of A2 minus A1, which is nothing but equals to mod of An minus An minus 1. And that is equals to mod of An. Now, we let a1 not equals to 0 and A2 not equals to 0. So why did we take this? Because if we proceed with A1 not equals to 0 and A2 not equals to 0 and we get contradiction, then that means either A1 or A2 is equals to 0. Okay. So here what we have is A2 minus A1 is equals to plus or minus A1 from the relation that we got. Okay, so let's take a2 minus a1 as equals to minus of a1. But then this implies that a2 is equals to 0. But we took that our a2 is not 0. So there is another case that is a2 minus a1 is equals to a1. Now this implies that a2 is equals to twice of a1. And now if you see that what is a3 minus a2 as that is equals to plus or minus a1. And so this implies that your a3 is equals to a2 plus or minus of a1. Now we have a2 in terms of a1, so we will get a3 in terms of a1. And similarly, if we proceed, we will get every term in terms of a1. And thus, since in the sequence, one of the term is 0, so we get that a1 has to be 0, and which is again a contradiction. So this implies that a1 is equal to 0, and which is again a contradiction. And so we have that either A1 is 0 or A2 is 0. 